What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy Rising E here, and today is another video I want to discuss, man. You ready? I'm gonna give y'all a little bit, five more seconds. All right. So y'all guys here, I need y'all to sit back and think about how how y'all pull these females what attracts them bro just sit back and think about it like how you been pulling females lately i know most of y'all would say that it's your looks it's it's like how your swagger or how you move but the truth is bro it's none of that bro the girl is going to pick who she wants, bro. She She's just going to pick, like, whatever she's, like, she feeling, bro, she's going to pick, bro. And that's why it's important for you to try to, to catch, understand her vibe. And then try to be like one of her vibes. Because that's the only way you could really pull females for real, for real. Because if you're not trying to be her yes man or whatever... She's not going to mess with you, bro. They want somebody they could push over and just tell them what to do. That's one. That's one type of female. The other is the one that just wants you to just agree with her say and support spoil her. Like, bro, that's that's too much, bro. You can't you shouldn't be doing that, bro. Me, you shouldn't be doing that. I don't think it's worth it. For y'all guys to spend your your hard earned money on her if she's barely spending on you, and if your if your girl is still stuck on materialistic things, bro, she is she is definitely off, bro. I don't want any of y'all think about materialistic things, but like you know you gotta you gotta you gotta dress a little bit, feel me? You gotta dress nice and stuff like that. You gotta look good, but you don't have to buy clothes every twenty four seven or whatever. And a shawty shouldn't be wanting to buy clothes twenty four seven. You feel me? Y'all should... Like, if y'all ain't even got your own place together or whatever, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, come on, bro. It should be simple, small dates. Y'all just chilling and vibing, bro. If y'all actually want to get a bigger date, it should be a hotel room. <laughs> y'all should buy a hotel room, bro. That's about it. Other than that, bro... Y'all shouldn't be doing too much, bro. If y'all just in the talking stage or y'all just dating, bro, y'all shouldn't, you shouldn't be pay paying for purses, for her jacket, all these other things, bro. Like, you shouldn't buy her a promise ring. If you buy her a promise ring, you're, you're the major L of society, bro. Because what does that mean? What, what is, what is the purpose of that? She, a shawty would say, like, yo, he really, he really want to mess with me. If the, if a ring got to say that about you, then that's, that's a, that's an issue. A thing that's supposed to say that you really want to mess with somebody is their actions. And I hear them talk about actions all the time, but their actions basically them, basically you buying stuff for them. And I don't want you to do that. But at the end of the day, bro, just sit back and think, like, what really attracts the women? Some people would also say the beard. Because, like, yeah, you got to have facial hair. They like they like older guys. They like guys with tattoos, too. So, like, at the end of the day, you got to realize this. Girls just like the same builds of niggas, bro. Like, it don't matter what their tastes are. They got to have the same qualities that the, that the other niggas have. It's just that other niggas just have a different skin tone. And different hairstyles. That's really about it. If you don't have a beard or some tattoos. not a, You don't have to have a beard. But facial hair, tattoos, some decent hair. Because like... Most of the time, I don't know why these girls get on the waves check thing. Cause they, you don't, don't change your hairstyle because of a female. Cause at the end of the day, they gonna be, they gonna change what they want. You feel me? It goes to whatever is trending. So like, whatever hairstyle you want to mess rock with, go with that. Don't change it because other females want to mess with that. 
And I, I know a few people that did that, and I, I'm, I'm disappointed in them. But that's another video. But, like, yeah, females, they, they all look for the same things, bro. Like, it's it's rare to see somebody that's actually want something genuine. Because, like, it's, trust and believe that. I know there's some handsome dudes out there, bro. They got their own stuff together. But they getting played or getting, they already becoming shimps. Like, you feel me? Because they don't know their worth. You got to know your worth at the same time, bro. You can't settle for less. I don't want y'all settling for less. But, yeah, just think about it, bro. Because, like, it didn't take me this long to figure that out. Like, I, I just look, I could look through the, all Instagram what, what females post. They be like, I want to do to support me. I want to do to be there for me. You just want to do that just want to validate you. You and you, you want them to give them all your attention while having the looking unemployable as well. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, you don't, it just makes no sense. Like, you want a dude that that's not really trying to get nothing in life, but you want a dude that just that's all trying to surround their life towards your life. That doesn't work like that, bro. Your life is supposed to be her life and your life, and they combine together. And most to make a bigger life, not not his life and your life. Oh, and he just expands your life. No, no, bro, you can't be that nice, bro. Trust and believe that. I know dudes that dated females for three years or whatever, and then they they just randomly break up. You know why they don't feel her no more? Cause they realized that she was just attractive, but she was not the person that was genuine at all. She wasn't genuine at all. She was just looking for the same build that she happened to found you at the time. And you, you just came at the right moment. Like, nah, like, you basically gave her free stuff, bro. Well, what I think about is, like, if you, like, it's nothing wrong with spoiling a female that's treating you right. But it's a certain extent where you just keep buying her stuff, just... <laughs> driving her everywhere and stuff like that like bro it don't make no sense you shouldn't be doing that bro and if a girl that spoils you that's all right too but like she shouldn't do it as much as well either like y'all supposed to just literally just be times when y'all just be chilling bro like, I don't think about chilling and trying to make goals together. That's that's what a relationship I will want. You feel me? I don't know what y'all are saying, but with me, that's a relationship I will want. Just don't sit here and try to go with these norms, bro. Just be you, bro. Because this is what shorties want, a, some with a norm or somebody. Because, like, at the end of the day, they want a, a dude that looks like a celebrity or a dude that looks unemployable. That's willing to, to sacrifice everything in his life to, to put her further and and look out for her. Nah, you're supposed to be best friends, bro. Best friends turn into everything. And at this generation, like, everybody literally skips the best friend role. Either be friends with benefits, which I don't mind because I'd rather be that. Or just date and then don't last long at all. And y'all moms would just been friends with benefits. Because the people that's friends with benefits, and either either people don't realize it or not, they get a stronger bond. Especially if you really, if y'all, y'all feeling each other. Like, y'all actually have, it's like, it's like y'all, y'all think y'all attractive, but y'all not ready to date. You feel me? But like, yeah, that's just a mock. That's why I had to speak my mind, bro. Everything I realize about females is just, it's just a trend. It's a trend. Whatever is trending, they will go for it. And right now, is is hood dudes, bro. Because just because of the movies in the past, bro, all the movies they watch with Jordy and all this stuff, bro, it, it brainwashed them, bro. It, they don't know what genuine love is no more. But, hey, it's Rising E here. And peace, man.